From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Thanks for joining us right now for some of the day's top stories. I'm Mark Sidney. And I'm Erin Connolly. Eyewitness News is continuing to following the latest after a police shooting in West Hartford. A police officer opened fire and killed someone Tuesday night. This happened on New Britain Avenue. And police were on the scene there for 18 hours. We're learning police were following a stolen car. Stop sticks were deployed, but the suspect kept driving the car and ultimately crashed. Police have not yet identified the person who was killed. An officer was treated for minor injuries but is now out of the hospital. A man is accused of trying to kidnap a child in Norwalk. Police say as a woman unbuckled the child's seatbelt when the man reached into the car on Sunday along Bowton Street. The woman held on to the child and managed to get away. She told police the suspect asked if she wanted to sell the child. 37-year-old Jose Domingo from Norwalk is now facing charges. He is due in court later on this month. Another person from Connecticut is facing charges in connection to the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol. Investigators say 21-year-old Benjamin Cohen of Westport shoved officers and entered the Capitol. They have nearly 30 images and videos of him. They tell us he is charged with felonies, including assaulting law enforcement. Police accuse Cohen of shoving officers and illegally entering the Capitol building, disrupting a joint session of Congress. A group of children in Waterbury see their parents struggle to pay the rent each month, so they march through the city Wednesday, hoping the Fair Rent Commission can help. They spent the summer in a program learning more about the extremely high price of rent in Connecticut, and they wanted to make their voices heard. We reached out for comment, but we have not heard back from the Fair Rent Commission. The developing low pressure system will be moving toward Connecticut tomorrow. As it does so, it will strengthen anomalously strong for this time of year. And that will lead to a period of heavier rain, especially tomorrow afternoon and evening. Perhaps a couple of stronger thunderstorms in the mix as well. We do dry things out for Friday. But some poor drainage flooding certainly possible as well as perhaps an isolated instance of flash flooding. The severe weather threat will be greatest to our east. But we still could see a couple of stronger storms in the mix locally. On the early morning seven-day, breezy but dry for Friday. Highs in the 80s. Uh, overnight lows into the upper 50s to begin Saturday, but Saturday afternoon, the risk of some showers and storms, humid Sunday and Monday, both days trending a bit drier with more rain and storms likely by Tuesday.